4D Gender Reveal with a Pregnant Belly Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the second of my two little baby shower themed designs. The first one was just a, a baby shower design that was just on natural nails. The second one, this one is going to be uh, 4D, so it looks like a little, a little pregnant belly that you can then open it up and then it shows what kind. It's a gender reveal design, so it shows if it's a boy or a girl underneath. So for this one, I made it a girl. Um, this is just because I am having a girl, which was announced in the past video. I'm I'm having I'm about a month away, so that's the excitement there. Uh, I just a quick little announcement there. Otherwise, this can definitely be done for a boy. You just have to switch out some of the color choices, but that's it. I hope you guys like it, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I'm also going to be showing you a new little e-file that I got. People ask me about e-files all the time, in my opinion, and I really haven't tried that many of them, so I decided I would kind of just try this one out, knowing that it's a... I'm a less powerful, a less powerful e-file than I use on a daily basis. So this one doesn't have a control box, which is, I guess, shocking to me. It's just a power cord. I was, ex I, I don't know, I was expecting a control box, but so it just plugs in to the base of the handle and or the handpiece, and then it came with just a couple little basic, basic bits, and it came with, yeah, so a couple basic bits and some sanding bands. Nothing, nothing too much really, but it's definitely enough to get you by if, you know, if you're in a pinch. And so as far as control goes, there's a forward, reverse, and off on a little clicker, and then a wheel that turns for speed. The other thing that I thought was kind of surprising to me with the e-file is that when I was first looking at it, I tried to find how you unlock it to place, to put the bead or the bit in, and it doesn't lock. It just has, I um, mean, just push them in I guess. So now for the design I started out with a shimmery white uh, shimmery white kind of kind of glittery background and so I just wanted it to be something something neutral and so I went with I didn't want it to be white either because I just sometimes a white background just gets so harsh looking looks very I don't know sterile or something so this little bit of shimmer in that really helps and as you're doing that you're going to need to place a magnet into that wet acrylic right under the area where you know that that belly is going to be. So it's not quite the middle. It's maybe a third up from the tip of the nail. And then encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic. As you're doing this, I was very conscious to not make this nail too thick since I knew that since I'm trying out this new e-file, I really want to make sure that I didn't have <laughs> too much filing to do that. Probably sounds horrible. But I'm going to turn it on and I turn it on and then turn it up pretty high. And I have the largest bit that came with it in my in the e-file at the time. And I'm going to be using that. Now my thoughts for this e-file are that it's definitely one that you can, if you don't use an e-file very frequently, this would definitely be an option for you because it isn't very expensive. But if you are going to be using an e-file all the time, you may want to go with something that has a bit more power, a bit more power to it. But if it's just something that you're going to use on a very rare occasion, then this would definitely be one that you could try because, I mean, it, it got the job done. It actually had a lot, um, a lot more RPMs than I anticipated. I was going to look it up, but I, I didn't. It went way faster than I thought it was going to. And it actually took acrylic off with much more efficiency than I was expecting. But just, you know, in general, I would, you know, it's, a, you know, a, or a travel e-file if you're going somewhere would be something to do or to use. Otherwise, if you are planning on using something daily for work or like me, I, I don't actually use an e-file at work, but I use an e-file quite a bit at home, and I use them constantly for all, I, even non-nail things I use my e-file for. It's a good, a good little fixer. If you are planning on using it a lot, uh, invest in one that's a little bit, a little bit more powerful and maybe a little bit more reliable. For the design, so the only 3D aspect of this that's actually on the nail itself is the chest. So I started out with just like the two boobs with cover pink acrylic and then I'm going to be adding the top part of the dress so it's just like the neckline and then just that area that's covering <laughs> covering the important parts uh, with yellow acrylic the reason I went with yellow is because that is pretty gender neutral there are a couple colors you could do yellow green gray those are pretty much the colors that you see that are considered gender neutral in this kind of a circumstance but after you have that done, wrap the nail very tightly with another layer or with a layer of plastic wrap and then add another magnet on top of the plastic wrap. So it goes nail, plastic, make er, magnet, plastic, magnet. So the plastic wrap is sandwiched between the two magnets and then sculpt the belly over the plastic wrap so that it kind of just fits right up in there. So it doesn't look like it's two separate pieces. So don't leave a gap or anything. So make sure that you do cover enough of the chest with the plastic wrap that you're not going to be 
getting your belly stuck to it, if that hopefully makes sense. And then with more of the yellow, I'm using to sculpt the belly. And I did this in three layers of beads for the most part. So I've got, I've already had two on there. So this is the third one. And I set that down and then I'm just kind of pressing it in and patting it from side to side a lot to try to get it into that little rounded, little rounded pregnant belly shape. After you have that on there, you may see, mine isn't perfectly, is not perfectly rounded. So just go through and grab some more beads of yellow acrylic and just sort of fill in any gaps and smooth it out as best as you can. If you would like to file it, you are more than welcome to. I didn't want to file mine. I kind of want to just add acrylic until I thought I was, until I thought it was good and smooth enough. And if you do it little bit by little bit, you know, it does work that way. And then I'm going to be adding a little ruffle along the bottom of the dress. So I know I say dress for this, but it's pretty short. So it may be a shirt. I don't know. Depends on the person. Some people wear short dresses. I would probably be wearing this with pants if it were me, but you know, either way, add a ruffle along the bottom. Just place down a little bead of the yellow acrylic and spread it out and then press it out into that very easy ruffle little little ruffle along the bottom. Smooth out the juncture between the belly and the ruffle because there, since that was added later, there's kind of a, I don't know, you can tell the difference. It doesn't look like it's just smoothly went. So just smooth that out with a little bit more of the yellow. Once that acrylic is completely set, you can take it off the nail, peel off the plastic wrap, and then I'm going to be adding just a little bit of a belt between, um, right at the top of the belly. So it would just sit like right right on right under the boobs is where this belt would go which is really going to help sort of mask the the fact that this wasn't all attached to the nail so you wouldn't really see that you could pop off the belly to see what's underneath so it's kind of like I don't know it's a little helper to hide the fact that this piece is removable so you don't see that little space as much then flip that over and add just a little bit more yellow acrylic to fill in any gaps that you may see as well as adding a little bit more under the ruffle because that was going to pretty weak. This is very thin. So just add a little bit more to thicken that up. Not too much though. Be very careful because otherwise it might not sit properly on the nail. Then above on the nail, back to the nail with black paint above the boobs, we're going to be writing it's a, and then just a couple little, like a little dot, dot, dot. So I just did that with some black paint, like I said, and just kind of an easy, easy cursive. And then in the area where the belly covers, over the top of the magnet, make sure you cover up the magnet because you don't want to actually see that. You're going to need to paint the little baby. So I started out with an oval for the head, add ears on each side, and then I'm going to be painting the body and everything just with the same kind of a pale peach color. And so add the little shape for the body, add the two legs and add the two arms. After you have that done, make sure that it is nice and opaque. Then I'm going to be grabbing some pink since, like I said, that I'm going to be doing this for a girl and add a pink diaper and a pink bow. If you were doing this for a boy, you'd want to use blue for a blue diaper and probably omit the bow. And then I'm going to be taking and with some black paint, I added a little curly cue coming off the top, coming out of the bow at the top of the head and then outlines all around. I did want to make sure I outlined this because I wanted it to be very easy to see and the difference between the peachy color and the colors of the little baby and the background is they're obviously different colors, but it's just, they're all kind of pastel. So it's best to just make sure they're very visible. Add her little face and outline the bow. And then underneath the belly, over the top of the magnet, again, we don't really want to see the magnets. Those are kind of our little secret. I'm going to be painting a large oval right in the center of, of that. And it is a little bit weird to paint on because I did smooth it out with some more of that acrylic, but like I said, you don't want to overdo that. So it's a little bit rough and a little bit wrinkly from the plastic wrap. So it's a little bit funky to paint on, but within that pink oval, you are going to want to write girl. So there's a finished word to your, it's a, there's actually something to read under there. And so after you have that and that's all dry, you want to apply a layer of gel sealer over the girl and the pink oval and over the background on the nail. So over everything that's flat, basically not the 3D elements of this design. And you don't have to apply any top coat over the 3D stuff because there's no paint on there except for the oval with the girl. So then this is all done. I hope you guys like this design. This was actually, this has been requested of me for so long. I think it's been, I don't know, over a year since the first time I've gotten this request. So it just seemed fitting to do it now. And I've gotten it recently too. So I hope you guys like it and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.